Hey YouTube, you ever have that problem where you're trying to install a whole bunch of panel mount lights, switches, indicators on a steel enclosure, and you end up burning out drill bits, using set drill bits, making a lot of heat, a lot of noise, uh, and otherwise just spending a lot of time and energy on something that shouldn't take that much time and energy? Uh, if you do this often enough, there's a tool for you. This is a hydraulic hole punch set. Um, I bought this for 200 bucks at Princess Auto on Special. So it's their Power Fist house brand. And it served me okay. This is, you know, hobbyist grade. It's nothing uh, super commercial. But for someone who doesn't want to deal with drilling holes, uh, it's, it's actually quite a good alternative. So what do you get in the set? You have the actual hydraulic unit, and you have a whole bunch of dies and punches. In this case, you go from half inch all the way up to two inch. If you can see it on camera there, probably. Uh, as well as two sized metal draw bars. So why would you want to use one of these things? Well, with a half inch hole for your standard 22 millimeter indicator light or push button, it's not that big a deal. You could do it with a step drill bit but they wear out over time, you can't easily sharpen them, and if you want to pay the money for a cobalt steel step bit, you're looking at 80 to $90, and they wear out. This is $200, and it will do all these different holes. If you're not high production, and you don't treat a step drill bit as a, you know, a, a job-based consumable, then you might actually want to consider this, because it's actually worth the money. If you want to put in larger devices, all right, say you need a two inch hole, what are you going to do? Buy a two inch hole saw? No, you're probably going to drill a whole bunch of holes in a circle and try and get them to line up and then file them till it is roughly concentric. If you do buy a two inch hole saw meant for steel, right, you're either going to get the hole you want or you're going to drill it at a slight cockeyed angle and wear out some of the teeth, or worse, you're going to damage the hole saw and you're never going to get your hole, right? Um, whereas this, all you have to do is all you have to do is use the uh, punch and die with minimal effort, and you can get a two-inch hole. Um, and using it's fairly simple. This unit itself um, has an articulating head. There are other units that have um, remote heads with hydraulic hoses attached between the power pack and the ram. Uh, but in this case, all you need to do is thread the draw bolt into the ram and then attach the associated um, punch and die set between the ram and the panel. Um, in this case, also, because this unit has two draw bars, what you could do is drill, I believe, a 3 8 inch hole for the small diameter of this bolt, which, you know, 3 8 inch drill bits aren't that expensive. Is it 3 8 inch? possibly 5 eighths inch, something approximate like that. Um, either way, you drill a small hole, you thread this through with the half inch punch and die, you make a half inch hole, and then the half inch hole gets you clearance to put your th three quarter inch draw bar in. That gives you access to all the bigger holes. So it's not a bad way to go. It takes a bit more time per hole, but if you get everything kind of set up and lined up correctly, you can bang them through pretty quickly. And we're going to cut to some footage in a minute here, uh, working on the can crusher, actually, uh, of my friend using the hydraulic hole puncher for the first time. Alright, so we're on. We'll close the valve. Away you go. So I ran out of pull, wow. so I had to loosen it and then spin the tool around <laughs> to tighten it. 
on today's lesson of how not to do, and we're left with a handful of funny little wave coins. All right, time to go get the components. So hopefully now you've seen the versatility of uh, doing it this way. Um, I guess a couple other notes. This kit actually came with a whole bunch of spare seals, which I haven't needed to use in a year. But if I really needed to tear down the entire hydraulic ram, I'm sure I could. Uh, it looks like it has seals for all the joints as well as all the internals and the piston parts as well. And if I ever needed to top up the hydraulic fluid, I just have to unscrew this cap. And there's a small cap inside on a, um, I guess a bellows, rubber bellows uh, fluid chamber so that it doesn't need a, uh, a return path for the fluid. All I have to do is just open the valve and the spring-loaded ram just pushes the fluid back into the rubber bellows and they expand. Um, but yeah, for 200 bucks, I've done dozens and dozens of holes with this. Um, I built the HackLab CNC engraver. Uh, we put a couple holes in for the ventilation system controller. Uh, there's the can crusher controller, uh, vacuum pump controller, which is another video coming up soon-ish. Um, yeah, I mean, even after doing a couple hobby level projects, it works out to about a dollar a hole. Dollar a hole um, versus a lot of straining with a uh, step drill bit, heating up your drill bit, heating up your steel uh, enclosure, at least to me, it makes a lot of sense, right? Nine to five guy, but, uh, you know, I want to get these projects done with what free time I have. I don't want to waste it with a drill bit. I want to just get it done. Uh, and it leaves a really nice finish, so consider this if you will. Maybe it's for you, maybe it's not. Either way, uh, if you like this video, please rate, comment, and subscribe.